okay with the bullshit. Mm -hmm. Say it one more time. Y'all are okay with the bullshit. Mm -hmm. Oh, just preach to us, pastor. Preach to us, bishop. Tell us the word of God. Yes. Honey, Jamal, he got that new birth. Honey, he didn't learn him a few. He didn't learn him a few tongues. Honey, I wait for him to dance. That's what I wait for. I wait for him to cut out with a dance. I wait for him to get a jig real quick. Honey, once you get a jig and some tongues, oh, it's a wrap, honey. He gonna be, he gonna be a, a Holy Ghost roller. I'm not gonna play with y'all. I'm not gonna play with y'all. You hear me? I'm not gonna play with y'all. At the end of the day, that's what these folks do. Baby, these folks ain't, they, baby, they're not, th they're not thinking about God. Y'all really wanna talk about some ramifications? Let's talk about that. L like, like, how you gonna preach to me about being a whole, a slut, a homosexual, or anything like that, and you doing the very same thing that you say that the Bible say don't do? Niece? How you gonna tell me God don't love me? God can't use no homosexual. Well, bitch, you out here, you sucking dick. You fucking, you doing all kinds of stuff. You got twin left side piece of can on, but then you wanna sit out here and talk about what God can't use. Apparently, you doing something, daughter. You doing something, daughter? What's up, Texas? You doing something, daughter? Baby, at the end of the day, Jamal, John Gray, Brian Karn, Matthew, St whoever it is, baby, let me tell y'all, it is mighty funny how these niggas, how these niggas can sit out here and fuck up and y'all take them right back. Oh, don't let them be out with a man. Oh, that's just horrible. That's just horrible. That's just horrible. Y'all go hit the like button. Go ahead and share this video. Go hit the like button. Go share this video. Mm, yep. It is mighty funny. It is mighty funny that John Gray can sleep around on his wife multiple times, have babies on his wife multiple times, and the church still take him back. What fucked up excuse are you going to have now, sir? Huh? What excuse are you going to have now? What excuse are you going to have now, Jamal? You going to say the devil did it? You going to say God is, is using my mistakes? Bitch, just sit your ass down. Sit your punk ass down. God is not. God is nowhere in this bullshit. God is nowhere in your wayward dingling. What? God is nowhere in that. God is nowhere in there. You out here making... First of all, you made your wife look bad, your ex-wife look bad. Well, I don't know, because, honey, you, whatever. I, I don't know what to say about Jizzy, Jizzy, Giselle. Honey, y'all probably went to the island. You done probably jeezed all over her face one good time. She sucked your dick real good. And you done probably plowed her with that meat and carrying on. And then you she went on about her biz, went on back to Potomac. And you done went on back on down there to Atlanta and carrying on. And she come make personal appearances up there at the Atlantas and carrying on. And everybody think, oh, Pastor better get married. Oh, Pastor better get married. Oh, please. And, baby, he, they're not going to vote him out. They ain't not going to vote him out. They are not going to vote him out. Hear me? They are not going to vote him out. They ain't going to vote him out because they enjoy what he gives. They enjoy what he gives. He gives a good inspirational message. Baby, he's, ain't, ain't no grease, oil, crisco, or nourishment. Ain't no olive trees and nothing like that. Baby, just, he's gifted and talented. He's gifted and talented. And baby, all the while, this is all a show. It's all a show. I'm going to say it again. Yes, yes, yes. To the question that y'all asking, yes. Honey, first of all, here's the thing. Everybody is out here this year. I keep saying this. Y'all don't hear me. Even some of these vloggers out here with stunts and shows. Baby, everybody is out here on a stunt and show. It's a storyline to keep themselves fucking relevant. Why? Because they need the attention. They need the attention. Hello? They need the attention. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Let me put my cash up up y'all. They need the attention. Everybody coming out with they either been molested or raped and can't on they. They 50 something years old talking about, oh, I don't know. How do you want attention? You trying to sell a book. You trying to sell a book. You trying to sell a seed. You trying to sell something. Niece, you not fooling me, daughter? You not. No, no. No, 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 no. Oh, thank you, baby. Honey, these lips. These lips is out here for the people. See, let me tell you something. This is why I always try to tell people. This is why I always try to tell people, baby. It's a sin and a shame that y'all sit out here and y'all rather live a lie than tell the truth. Honey, scratch a lie, find a thief. Let me tell you something. These church folks out here, honey, fucking and sucking in the church again, all, and then they want to sit out here and tell you about what the Lord say, and God is not in this. Bitch, God ain't in you getting that dick that you just got last night. He ain't in that, in that, in that meat you were sucking on last night. Period. Okay, thank you so much, Janice, for the, for the super chat. Thank you, baby. Thank you so much. Honey, these, I'm telling the church is full of pimps and hoes. Baby, I, did I not, baby, y'all remember when I said that? The church is full of pimps and hoes. Honey, the preachers is the pimps. Honey, they went from pimping in the street, pimping, 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 pimping in the street, to pimping, 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 pimping in the church. Y'all don't hear me? And they just got a nice suit on, a nice little shoe. Baby, they might be cut up a little bit with a nice little, nice little tailor on and got a nice little haircut. Baby, cleaned up real nice, got that beard. I don't know what it is about the beards, baby, but people love the beards, baby. Them women love to grab on it. Honey, I know they love to grab, honey, ooh, they love it. Honey, you said, don't, don't do that to me, don't, don't do that, honey, just... Anyway, you know what I'm saying, baby? They just they love it all. They love it all. Don't tell me nothing about God is, is coming and you're going to sin and going to send you to hell. Because, bitch, if we going to hell, you going to hell. Goddamn, we all going to sit around a motherfucking fish fry together. Period. Meanwhile, meanwhile, while y'all sitting out here uh, mad at me, I've been saying this stuff for years. 
I'm gonna keep saying it and I'm not gonna stop. I've been saying this stuff for years. I've been saying this stuff for years. Baby, the church is full of hypocritical, uh, hot, uh, hot uh, uh, come on. Hold on, y'all. Y'all, I'm serious though. I'm so serious, y'all. Like, it just, it makes no sense. It makes no sense at all that y'all will sit there. I'm just like, I, and when, and when Monique, let me tell you something. See, now it's, now it's, now, now the church business. The church business is national business now. See, y'all went from the vloggers telling y'all what's going on to now it's being spilled on these shows, these reality shows. And see, it's, it's no other better place than to, be, than to be spilled than on a reality show because this is reality TV. You a hoe, your man a hoe, they out here holding around and just so happen that Jamal Harrison Bryant just so happen to be a damn pastor. Ain't that some Kiki right there? Ain't that some Kiki right there? When he was in Baltimore, Maryland, he was fucking around on Giselle. That's the reason why they got the divorce the first time. And I'm sure that some of these other folks gonna sit up here and you, your punk ass is watching right now because you gonna use this on your fucking show. Because I'm gonna sit out here and spill all the tea for you. Baby, Giselle been divorced him because he was fucking around on her and got some little young ass girl pregnant. Yes, y'all don't remember that, but I do. It's before all the big scandals had, had, had came all the way out. Baby, she had divorced him and everything like that. She tried to work it out, didn't work out. Tried to work it out, didn't work it out. He was right here passing dick out and everything like that. Ba then got another girl pregnant and all the other stuff like that. And then Giselle just got tied up in a candle and she went on about her business. Honey, then, you know what I'm saying? Then he ended up moving to Atlanta and she brought her punk ass back around again. Brought her monkey ass back around again. And everybody was like, oh my God, they're going to get back together. Oh no, bitch, we ain't forgot. We ain't forgot because he had another side piece that went over there to horse face McCray and did a whole interview with her. Mm -hmm, I said to her, hey, Thais, what's up, brother? Good morning. You know they didn't set up here and fucked up my Facebook page once again, daughter. I can't post them, but I can go live. I'm tired, y'all. I'm tired. I'm, I'm tired of fucking with Facebook. But anyways, here, and here's the thing. How many times do you constantly, how many times do you constantly disrespect your, your, ba your wife, your ex-wife? And I got a question for y'all men. Is it really that serious to get all the pussy in the world? Y'all make that make sense. Make is it really that serious? Is it really that serious to get all the pussy in the world? I told y'all. See, y'all want to talk about what the Bible said, but the Bible never said that Jamal was in the wrong. Because apparently these are single women. These are not married women. These are single women. If he was if he was fucking around with another married woman, that would be adultery. But Jamal ain't married. He's he's actually divorced. But actually, Jamal, Jamal is actually walking in adultery according to the word, right? Jamal is actually walking in adultery according to the word. Because the only reason why he got a divorce is because his wife got sick of him cheating. Okay, so he already walking in adultery. So he's an adulterous man that's sitting out here messing with these single women, which is not wrong. Because technically, as a married man, according to the Bible, right? According to the Bible, you are well within your right to do this these type of things right here. But, but... But, can you afford them? Can you afford them? And apparently, Jamal can afford them. Man, he got this check from Newberg. He's connected governmentally. All this other stuff. He can afford them. He can afford them. He can afford the hoes. He can afford them. 